Hi, I'm Jeff Bush from Informed Family Financial Services and the host of Financially Speaking with Jeff Bush. We're pleased to bring you this presentation of the Academic Challenge. The PC TV Network proudly presents Academic Challenge, best known as Quiz Bowl, where area high school students compete for academic supremacy. And now your host, the incomparable Mr. Todd Kelly. Welcome to the 2018 PCTV Academic Quiz Bowl Tournament, sponsored by Informed Family Financial. Each winter, some of the brightest students from area high schools compete academically through a series of matches in the Academic Quiz Bowl League. The questions cover a wide range of topics, from mathematical equations to scientific theories, from ancient history to English grammar, and from world religions to popular culture. Each year I am amazed at how quickly and accurately the teams under pressure can answer all of these challenging questions. The seedings for this year's TV tournament were determined by the final rankings during the season. And today we actually have that final match which is going to determine who is the PCTV champion for the year. So we have in this match, we have two teams. We have the team from Souderton Area High School represented by Benjamin. Jack, Jared, who serves as the captain, and Sydney. And representing their opponents here for Pope John Paul II High School, we have Jason, Thomas, Andrew, who is also serving as captain, and Nicholas. Each match we have consists of three rounds. The first round has 15 toss-up questions, which either team may answer in five seconds. If a team misses a question, the opposing team has a chance to answer correctly on the rebound. A correct answer earns a team a bonus question. For this, the team has 10 seconds to confer before the captain voices the answer. Computational questions, which are a little more difficult, we give extra time to, a total of 30 seconds. All right, here we go to begin the final match to determine bragging rights for the year. Toss-up number one, both teams. Nominals. What is the first nominal in the lyrics of America the Beautiful? Okay, I've got an answer from Jack. America. That's incorrect. Rebound. Okay, Andrew. First. No, that's incorrect. Maybe it would be simpler. They, they asked for a nominal. That would be the first noun. So if you know the beginning, O oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Skies is the answer. All right. Toss-up number two, art forms. Let's see how you do in this. What art form is illustrated by a perennial plant that has been trimmed and shaped to look like, okay, uh, Jared. Topiary. Topiary is correct. Shaped like elephant or a motorcycle or Mickey Mouse. All right. Uh, like Edward Scissorhands does that in that movie. Bonus opportunity you get for Souderton. Insects. These are facts about what insects. Over 12,500 species have been identified. They belong to the family Formicidae. They evolved from wasp-like ancestors. They are distinctive elbowed, they have distinctive elbowed antennae. Bees? No, ants. Ants. Okay. Toss-up number three, both teams. We go to wood. While teak, oak, and walnut are hardwoods from angiosperms, red cedar, Douglas fir, and yew are softwoods from what other broad category of plant life? Okay, I got an answer from Benjamin. Gymnosperms? Gymnosperms is correct. And you get a bonus in volcanoes. In the last 200 years, all of the volcanic eruptions in the contiguous United States have been in what mountain range? Okay, Jared. 
The Rockies. Uh, that's incorrect. I can't take that. It's the Cascades. The Cascades they wanted. Okay. Toss-up number four, archaeology. Both teams back into this one. The archaeologist Arthur Evans named what pre-classical Greek civilization that he uncovered on the island of Crete after, okay, Jack. Minoans. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. Named after a fictional city in the Odyssey. So you got that. You get a bonus in managing test results. What instrument for evaluating the veracity of a person's statements can apparently be deceived by daydreaming about pleasant, calming things while answering questions? Okay, Jerry. A lie detector. Can you give me the more specific term for that? Lithograph? No, that's incorrect. I, the, the answer I have here I needed was the polygraph. Polygraph. It, it is, that's, I mean, that, that's, the, that's the fancy term for that test, the polygraph test. All right. Okay. So, sorry, can't give you the points. You're on the right track, but now, and now at least both teams know how to beat the test. Hopefully, you will never be in that situation. Okay. Toss-up number five. It's a math problem. It's a haiku math problem, so we call it computational. All right. Express as a binary numeral the number of syllables in a haiku. All right, Andrew. 17. That's incorrect. Rebound, remaining time. Okay. Yes, Jared. 18. No, that's incorrect. Express as a binary numeral. Binary numeral. So it's 10001. Okay. Guys, jumped the gun a little bit on that. Well, guess what? You get another chance because we have another computational question right away. Pendulum problems. Consider a 12-inch pendulum that swings through an angle of 10 degrees. In terms of pi, what is the length of the arc through which the pendulum's tip swings? Okay, I've got an answer from Andrew. 1 over 18 times pi. That's incorrect. Remaining time to Satterton. Okay, Jared. Two-thirds pi. That is correct. That is correct. So you get a bonus in historical speculation. Some scholars speculate that the confidential informant who told the American patriots of the British plan to march on Concord and Lexington was none other than the wife of what commander of the British forces headquartered in Boston? How? That's incorrect. Thomas Gage. Gage was his name. All right. They didn't have WikiLeaks back then. Toss-up number seven, both teams, bonding. Which type of chemical bonding occurs in materials that are extremely hard, have a high melting point? Okay, Thomas. Metallic bonding. That's incorrect. And do not conduct electricity either as a solid or when molten. Okay, yes, Benjamin. Covalent. Covalent is the answer we're looking for here. You get a bonus in propaganda. What propaganda technique is used when Britney Spears promotes Pepsi, Tom Selleck promotes reverse mortgages, and Michael Jordan promotes Nike shoes? Okay, that's got to be your, your, your captain, so Jared's going to answer for you guys. Testimonial. That is a testimonial, correct. All right, toss of number eight, both teams, lakes. Carter Lake on the border of Iowa and Nebraska was formerly known as the Saratoga Bend of the Missouri River. But a flood of 1877 formed a new channel cutting off the bend, thus creating what kind of lake? Okay, Benjamin. Oxbow? That is correct, an oxbow lake. You guys get a bonus in the house. What is the title of those individuals in the House of Representatives who maintain communications between party leadership and party members, 
build member support for the leadership priorities, and mobilize members to vote on key legislation. Whips. Whips are correct. That's absolutely right. All right. Toss up number nine. Both teams back in this one. F faulty predictions. Faulty predictions. Evidently, interpretations of what ancient calendar? All right. Jack. The Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar. Right. Because the world was supposed to end. You know what was supposed to end according to that? December 21st, 2012. So uh, we're doing pretty well then. Okay, bonus opportunity for Souderton. Extremophiles. What kind of extremophiles thrive in temperatures between 45 and 122 degrees Celsius? Okay, we got an answer. Thermoites. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to, you, you, were, you were on the right track, but you messed it up then. Thermophiles, thermophiles. So you got the therm part, but uh, I'm sorry, I gotta go with the precedence of the answer. All right, we get back to both teams with novels, novels. Let's see what you guys have read. In what story is young Jonas selected to inherit the position of the receiver? All right, Thomas. The giver. The giver is correct. And Pope John Paul, you guys get a bonus in presidential visits. These words spoken by Franklin Roosevelt are about what region in the U.S. in 1936? I talk with families who have lost what wheat crop, lost their corn crop, lost their livestock, lost the water in their well, and come through to the end of the summer without one dollar of cash, facing a winter without feed or food. Midwest. Okay, uh, that's incorrect. We were looking for specifically the Dust Bowl. They were in the Dust Bowl because, of course, we had the time there. Okay, we have another computational one because everyone loves those. This one's just called Numbers. This one, actually, if you know something, you'll, you'll, you'll get this pretty quickly. What is the only Fibonacci number other than one that is a perfect cube? Okay, I got an answer from Benjamin. Eight. Eight is correct, yes. So if you know your Fibonacci numbers, you're good. All right, you get a bonus in peninsular settings. What peninsula is the setting for these works? The cellist of Sarajevo, the lady of Zagreb, murder in Megara, elegy for Kosovo, and murder in Macedon. Yes. The Balkan. That is the Balkan Peninsula, correct. All right, we're going on to question number 12 now in geologic time. A geologic period is longer than an epoch. Yes, Thomas. An era? That's correct, okay. You were about to say, good thing I got that epoch word in there. I, okay, very good, and then it was, it's shorter than what other period. You got it, good, good anticipation. You gotta take chances like that sometimes. So you get a uh, question in musical numbers. All right. Based on where they are performed in the show, these are examples of what kind of songs? Hairspray, You Can't Stop the Beat, Gypsy, Rose's Turn, Carousel, You'll Never Walk Alone, Hair, Let the Sun Shine In, A Chorus Line, One, Evita, Lament, and Little Shop of Horrors, Don't Feed the Plants. Okay, Andrew. 11 o'clock. Okay, good try. That's not, it's finales. There are finales. 11 o'clock numbers usually are right before the finale. Okay, but good try. Okay, toss up 13 is one more computational, folks. Acceleration. If a net force of 15 newtons is exerted on a bowling pin, causing it to accelerate at a rate of five meters per second per second. Okay, I got an answer from Thomas. Three grams. Okay. I'll take that. That's the correct answer. Okay. That's okay, enough. well, wait, okay, my question, okay, my, okay, hold it. I'm, this is one of those moments of technical problems here. Um, that's, no, that's not correct. That's not correct. Sorry. That's not correct. I'm sorry I messed things up here. What is the, what is the mass of the bowling pin? Yes. 
three kilograms. Yeah, that is the correct answer. You, you got the wrong one there. Sorry, I was I was I had to look at my paper again. Okay, so that one goes to Satterton. It does not go to Pope John Paul. Sorry, they are correct, and that's what you do when you question a thing right away. Question me. I'll take care of it at the moment. You get a bonus in famous women. All right. What first name was shared by America's first published poet, the second and fourth wives of Henry VIII, a diarist and Holocaust victim, Shakespeare's wife, and the teacher of Helen Keller? Yes, Jared. Anne. Anne is correct, yes. All right, now we go to toss of 14. Star Wars writing. What literary technique is used in all these lines spoken by Yoda in Star Wars? Agree with you, the council does. Your apprentice, young Skywalker, will be. Mourn them, do not. The dark side, I sense in you. Patience, you must have. Truly wonderful, the mind of a child is. It's both teams. Okay, I got an answer from Benjamin. Epistrophe. Okay, that's incorrect. Rebound. Okay, Tom's going to try it. Misdiction. <laughs> Misdiction. It's actually just called inversion. They invert the order. That's what it is. And our final one in this round, if, unless someone gets it and then we get a bonus, is references. What kind of references are, yes. Allusions. That's incorrect. Are Whitaker's? Shots, the Canadian Global, the Barbanera, and the Old Farmers. Okay, I, I, I got an answer from Benjamin. Secondary? No, okay. It, it, Old Farmers, Almanac. They're, they're asking what type of reference books are they, and they're almanacs, okay? Because there are, you know, allusions are references, but it's a different meaning. All right, we came to the end of the first round. Let's see the scores here. Okay, so right now, Salterton is in the lead as we move into the lightning round. Now we move on to the lightning round, but before we do that, we've had some uh, substitutions for the different teams. So up there at Salterton, uh, Aiden has joined the team for the lightning round. And at, for PJP, Karen's in there now and Mary-Kate. Now what happens here is we have a lightning round. The trailing team, in this case it's Pope John Paul II, has 60 seconds to answer as many rapid fire questions as possible. Questions passed or answered incorrectly are then given to the opposing team, which has six seconds per question to try to answer the ones that were missed. The same process is then followed by the opposing team. So we had three choices, and the choices were Los Angeles, Chicago, or the mystery category. And so Pope John Paul chose to go with the mystery category, um, which basically they don't know what the questions are going to be, but they'll figure it out as it goes along. It's basically, in this case, I will tell them it's, it's miscellaneous questions, so there's no theme running through there. And then you guys chose Los Angeles. So we're going to see which of those two cities serves us better. All right. So, Andrew, you're giving the answers. Yes. We're going to start the uh, questions at uh, the, the time when I finish the first question, and then we'll try to get through as many of these as possible. All right, here we go. It can be any tool used in medicine or any device that produces music. Instrument. What U.S. city is tops in percentage of citizens without cars? New York. New York. New York. On a map. Crossed pickaxes are used to indicate the location of what? A mine. The visual representation of your voice used for identification is called what? Pass. Which Tennessee city was built during World War II as part of the Manhattan Project? Memphis. The slang term for a police photograph of a suspect in custody. Mugshot. The holes dug by members of the infantry to serve as shelters are called what? Trenches. One million bytes equals one, one what? Megabyte. Herbs were first used by prehistoric man as what? Medicine. According to the camp song, it was sad when which great ship went down? Titanic. Okay. 
you managed to get um, one, two, three, seven correct, seven correct. So that really helps your score, which means you, you guys have a chance to steal three because we got through all of the questions. Again, you're going to have 18 seconds when I finish the first one. I'll read that one slowly. The visual representation of your voice used for identification is called what? Pass. 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 Okay. Which Tennessee city was built during World War II as part of the Manhattan no, Project? Paris. Paris. The holes dug by members of the infantry to serve as shelters are called Dugouts. what? Dugouts. Okay. The visual representation of your voice used as identification? Uh, audiograph. Okay. None were correct there. Um, just like you would use your fingerprint or your thumbprint, it's called your voice print. That's what it's called. The city built was Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge and Foxholes. Foxholes, yeah. He said, I know that. All right. Now we move to Los Angeles, not literally, but figuratively. Okay, questions about LA? Let's see how many of you guys can answer. Jared, again, you're giving the answers, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Due to movement along this fault, LA will reach San Francisco. San Andreas. During what war was it taken by American Mexican troops? Mexican American War. And what event prompted the migration of thousands of Midwestern families to LA? The Gold Rush. Name LA's NHL, NHL team. The Los Angeles Kings. The Rose Bowl is northeast of LA in this town. Pasadena. Which valley lies northwest of Hollywood across the Santa Monica Mountains? Pass. This section of LA was the scene and title of a Jack Nicholson film. Chinatown. Which site contains the bones of thousands of prehistoric animals? The tar pits. Can you be more specific? Pass. Okay. Which 1848 treaty effectively ceded LA to the United States? Guadalupe, Gua Guadalupe Hidalgo. The court verdict on a police brutality. Okay, I didn't get to the end of that one. Okay, so you got through nine of the questions. I won't finish that other one. You got one, two, three, four, five, six correct. All right, so you guys have a chance to steal three. All right, Los Angeles, let's see what you know about that. What event prompted the migrations of thousands of Midwestern farmers to LA? Pass. Okay. Which valley lies northwest of Hollywood across the Santa Monica Mountains? Silicon Valley. Which site contains the bones of- La Brea Tarpets. Okay. What event prompted the migration? Dust Bowl. Okay. All right, and you got two correct. The Dust Bowl was correct, and the La Brea Tar Pits is correct. I needed La Brea. I needed that. And uh, the San Fernando Valley was the one no thought, one yeah, got. Was San Fernando thought. Valley. All right, so at the end of this round, things have changed a little bit. Pope John Paul, you positioned yourself in a much better position here. Uh, you are now uh, just trailing by 80 points. It's 190 for Southerton, 110 for Pope John Paul II, and these final 15 questions are going to determine who becomes the PCTV tournament champion for the year. As we move into our final round, we're going to be uh, having a couple substitutions for Salverton. So I'd like to introduce the new players. So they're getting settled in right now. So Henry is joining the team and Lillian. All right, so that's all the time we have to get settled in because we're gonna start right away. We've got 15 toss up questions. There are no bonuses in this round, but of course there are rebounds. All right, here we go to determine the champion of the TV tournament for the year. Solid geometry. What is the collective name for all of these polyhedrons? Parallel pipid, trigonal trapezohedron, triangular, yes, Thomas. Prisms? That's incorrect. Triang, okay, I'm glad you're stopping me reading these, Jack. Parallelograms? That's also incorrect. There are Hexahedrons, sure, of course. Toss up number two, colonial residents. These people were residents of what colonial Massachusetts settlement? Mary, yes. Plymouth. That's incorrect. Mary Walcott, Betty Paris, Abigail, well, yes, Lillian. Salem. That is Salem, correct. Toss up number three, plate tectonics. What kind of plate boundaries occur as a result of convection currents that stretch the oceanic lithosphere. 
Yes, Henry. Subduction. That's incorrect. Rebound. Yes, Thomas. Ocean, ocean. Okay, no, diverging boundaries. Lithosphere. Now I can say it correctly. It was hard there for a minute. All right, let's try something completely different. Let's try tigers. Tigers, okay? Subspecies of tigers include the Siberian, Malayan, Indochinese, Sumatran, South China, and what other most, okay, here we go, Jack. Bengal tiger. That's right, it's a Bengal tiger, excellent. Toss up number five, beliefs. Little Millie won't leave her doll outside for fear it might get cold and lonely. Max says his car won't start because it hates him. Yes, Andrew. Superstition. That's incorrect. Uh, a golfer tells his putted ball to curve left. Such attributions of conscious life to inanimate objects is called what? Okay, Jared. Personification. That's incorrect. It's called animism or anthropomorphism. Toss-up number six, fields of science. What is the general name for the application of these sciences to criminal investigations? Okay, I got it there, Thomas. Forensic science? That is correct, forensic science. That's all you needed. Himalayan nations, with its culture based on Tibetan Buddhism. Yes, Thomas. Nepal? That's incorrect. Name the small kingdom in the Himalayas that has been an independent country since 1644. Okay, Jared. Bhutan. Bhutan is correct. Toss up eight. Peninsular nations. What country on the Arabian Peninsula is closest to the Horn of Africa? I've got an answer from Thomas. Oh, man. That's incorrect. Rebound. Yes, Jack. Yemen. Yemen is correct. Toss up number nine. Short stories. Oh, I know the short story well. We need to re set. We're good. These lines come from what short story by an American author? The world is made up of two classes, the hunters and the hunties. You're a big game hunter. Who cares how the jaguar feels? Yes, Thomas. The deadliest game. Oh. Now that's incorrect. Sometimes I think evil is a tangible thing with wavelengths just as sound and light have. Time. Okay, we got an answer there, Jack. Bambi. Okay, <laughs> no, that's, that's a bad answer. All right. Uh, PJP, you, you had the right idea. You just couldn't remember, and you had to have the title. The Most Dangerous Game. Most Dangerous Game. Well, we can't finish up. Around, actually, we're not quite at the end yet, but we have to have one more computational, correct? You can't go without another one. So this is in cubes. If you paint the outside of a four by four by four cube consisting of one by one by one blocks, how many blocks have no paint on them? Okay, Thomas. Four. That's incorrect. Remaining time to Salerton. All right, we got an answer there. Henry. Eight. Eight is correct. Eight. Toss up 11, military incidents. In 1966, a US B-52 collided with a fuel tanker over Spain, resulting in four unarmed nuclear bombs falling to Earth. What kind of incident? Yes. Broken arrow. That is a broken arrow. That is absolutely right. Palindromes. You gotta know what those are to do this. What Russian name completes this palindrome? Ah, Satan sees. Okay, Andrew. No, that's incorrect. Time's up. Natasha, Natasha. You take, remember palindromes, it's forwards and backwards is the same. Natasha. All right. Let, um, now we go to question number 13. Device in physical science. What kind of device can be made by suspending a relatively massive rotor inside three rings called gimbals or gimbals? 
I'll, I'll get, take the answer because I, I still lay there. Jared. Gyroscope. It is a gyroscope. That is correct. Toss-up number 14, seawater. What characteristic of seawater changes rapidly at the halocline? Okay, and that is uh, Jack. Salinity. Salinity is correct. It's saltiness. You got it. And our final question, in cabinet officials, what U.S. cabinet office has been filled by these people in recent years? Ashton Carter. Okay, I got an answer right away, Jack. Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense, correct. And so we've come to the end of this match, and we're going to put the final scores up. Just waiting a second. And congratulations to this year's um, PCT tournament champions, Salerton Area High School. 280 to 120. Congratulations. I am pleased to announce uh, this year's runner-up for the 2018 PCTV Quiz Bowl Tournament is Pope John Paul II High School. And as our winners for this year for this TV tournament, we have Souderton Area High School.